Oh, we are about to roll on the media and the WNBA today. I had one of my long-term viewers hit me up last night on Twitter asking me if I had heard about the Chicago Skies Championship Parade debacle. I'll be honest with you guys. If this channel didn't require me to keep up with everything going on, I wouldn't know what the hell a Chicago Sky was. I would assume he was talking about the Sears Tower or the Skyline in downtown Chicago. The Chicago Sky is a WNBA team. And for those of you that don't know, which I would estimate to be about 99% of the country, the WNBA is the Women's National Basketball Association. The Chicago Sky just won the WNBA Finals. Now, I don't expect you guys to know anything about this, since the WNBA is the definition of irrelevant. Only 417,000 people watched the Chicago Sky win the WNBA Finals on ESPN Sunday afternoon. Which, by the way, how stupid can you be? I know the WNBA doesn't have any juice with their broadcast partners. I know they have to work around the schedule of ESPN and ABC, not the other way around. What, and what I mean by that, the NBA dictates to TNT, ESPN, ABC, what time their playoff games are going to start. The networks, they will preempt regular programming to broadcast NBA playoff games or the NBA Finals. If ABC has to decide between 2020 and Game 1 of the NBA Finals, 2020 is getting the boot every time. The WNBA does not have that luxury. The networks, they offer them available time slots, and they have to take what they can get. But even with that being the case, why in the hell would you schedule a potentially series-clinching game, a championship game, against the NFL, they made the same damn mistake game one. Unsurprisingly, games one and four of the WNBA Finals were the least watched. We just talked yesterday about the WNBA's five-year growth plan. Let me give them some free advice. Don't air championship games on Sunday afternoon in October. You're going to lose that battle every time. The media has been busy all week. Some of them, anyway. Some outlets have completely forgotten the WNBA exists, like the rest of the country. But the media outlets who do remember the WNBA, they have been working hard all week to convince you about this league's popularity. WNBA Finals average half a million viewers. WNBA experiencing rapid growth. All eyes on the WNBA. Stars are being born. I have read several articles about the Chicago Skies championship win. It's hard to make me cringe about something. I've become immune to the woke bullshit. But some of these articles were vomit-inducing. ABC7 in Chicago quoted one fan saying, This is the best atmosphere I have ever experienced, even in comparison to NBA games. Obviously. This fan has never attended an NBA playoff game, or a peewee football game for that matter. If she thinks the atmosphere at a WNBA game is the best sports has to offer, clearly this woman has been living in a dungeon most of her life. The media is trying so hard to convince us that the WNBA is one of the more popular leagues in this country. Attendance for the WNBA Finals, kind of a mixed bag. The two games in Phoenix failed to sell out. One of them only sold about 50% of the available tickets. They did sell out Game 4 in Chicago. I believe it was about 10,000 fans donated a few dollars to watch the Chicago Sky win the title. Which is good. That's good. That is progress for the WNBA. This is a league that averaged, what, 2,600 during the regular season. So an increase of 70-80% is a positive. But... The news is not all positive coming out of the WNBA Finals. The Chicago Sky, like I said, held their championship parade yesterday. I told you guys the other day, one way to gauge the popularity of a league is to look at attendance numbers. Obviously, the WNBA fails that metric. But another way to gauge league popularity is the willingness of your fan base to come out and support your free events. These could be Practice sessions open to the public. Many teams allow fans to attend some training camp sessions. Or in this case, 
how many fans attend your championship parade. For instance, back in July, it's estimated that half a million people came out for the Milwaukee Bucks championship parade. There's only one and a half million people in the Milwaukee metro area. That is an emotionally invested fan base. It requires very little effort of your fans to attend a championship parade. All they have to do is get in their car or hop on the train, get to downtown Chicago, and stand on the street. That's it. That's it. No cover charge. The only out-of-pocket money is the price of gas, parking, or the price of your train or bus ticket. It can't get more simple than that. The only thing holding anyone back from attending is interest. When my friend hit me up about this last night and I started looking into it, initially, I thought he was uninformed. I was looking at pictures from numerous media outlets in Chicago. Others were from national outlets. Some of these pictures showed packed crowds. But you guys know how the media is. They always go above and beyond to make their fellow social justice warriors look as good as possible. They are not going to give you the full truth that the situation's not working to their advantage. Turns out, those crafty woke photographers, they were very, very strategic with their camera angles. I started doing a little more digging, and I found some real pictures of the WNBA Championship Parade in Chicago. I'm going to show you a couple of them. I'm going to show you a couple of these pictures. These photos, courtesy of the Chicago Tribune, Look at all these people. Someone call the fire marshal. We're over capacity out here on these streets. Standing room only, guys. They are turning people away at the stop sign. No more room. No more people. We can't handle any more. Look at this one dude. Look at this one dude. Holding a sign saying, Women in the WNBA deserve a pay raise. <laughs> really? Really? Clearly, this gentleman doesn't understand simple economics. He doesn't understand supply and demand. The WNBA has never turned a profit. There's no demand for this league. These women, they are supplying the basketball. The problem is very few people are willing to pay to watch them play. Hell, they can't get people to come watch their parade for free. I have been searching for attendance figures for the Chicago Sky Parade. Can't find them. But KC, the parade was just yesterday afternoon. The media and authorities, they haven't had time to give the crowd estimate just yet. That's bullshit. We have Mardi Gras parades here for three straight weeks. If a parade is Friday night, by Saturday morning, they already have the attendance figures. The Bucks, they held their championship parade July 22nd. Attendance figures were released July 23rd. It's not hard to figure out why the media has not released attendance. They don't want you to know. You saw the pictures that I showed you. It wouldn't take long to count a crowd that size. What? Five minutes? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten, ten, seven. My two-year-old nephew can count to 10. This just shows you how irrelevant the WNBA really is. There are leagues in this country who aren't given a chance by the media. I'm not a fan of soccer, but soccer fans are die hard, even in America. Major League Soccer, though, does not get any mainstream media coverage. But the media will focus on women's soccer. They made Megan Rapino a millionaire. If the TFL started, that's the Transgender Football League, it would be covered by every media outlet in the country, just like the WNBA has been covered nonstop all year. All the media coverage in the country can't cover up for the fact that no one gives a shit about the WNBA. All right, time to let me know what you think. Give me your thoughts on the attendance at the WNBA Championship Parade in Chicago. Sound off in the comments below. Make sure to like and subscribe. Click the notification bell to receive all notifications from the channel. Best way to contact me is by email at btlkc84 at gmail.com. KC underscore BTL84 on Twitter. I'll see you guys later.